Hey, 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 Taurus. This is your sacred scribe here ready to do your Wednesday, February 10th to the 11th. Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for my Tauruses, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Taurus, if you will, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys. And hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Hmm. All right, Taurus, I'm going to get a channel's message in just one moment. But first, there's Tarot. Your overall energy is the world. So, what's on your mind, Taurus? Two of Swords. A lot. What is coming towards you? Let's see. What's coming towards Taurus? The King of Pentacles. Taurus energy. What is your response? The Four of Cups. Oh boy, Taurus. And what is your advice for this? <laughs> the Fool. All right, Taurus, let's go see what's up. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. All right, so let's see. <laughs> Just had to move that. Let's see what Spirit has for you. Whoa. Place yourself on higher ground right now and they're pushing you back. Perspective. You're needing to see things from a different perspective. You have been still. They won't let me move up. They're saying you have been still. Okay, search for something different. Notice things, look specifically for things that you have not seen. There are opportunities all around you. And they're saying different areas of life. So be open to what is coming. Don't disregard something with an immediate response. Take it in. Take the information in. Let it settle. And see it with new eyes, with fresh eyes. Okay, thank you. Wow, oh, they never did that before. They would not let me, because whenever they talk about perspective, they'll push me back, right? I remember the first time they did that and I couldn't figure out what the hell they were talking about. They kept pushing me back and pushing me back because I asked them a question. I'm like, I don't know what that means. I was getting mad. Finally, I got it, obviously. But they wouldn't let me come up, which really tells me that there is an opportunity or some opportunities, and maybe more than one, that you are missing if you're not, you need to move differently right now. You're in some sort of stationary position. That's what I was feeling. You're not moving. They're wanting you to move about the cabin, <laughs> you know? All right. Taurus, your energy is the world. So I feel like you're ending a cycle, you're beginning a new one, or this is your intent anyway, right? So let's see what's going on with this. Eight of Wands. Ooh, there may be a new love that either you're interested in, you're communicating with, or that will be coming to you. Somebody from afar, maybe. Six of Pentacles. Ooh, you're juggling more than one. Nine of Swords. 
I feel like Taurus, you're worried about juggling everything. They're saying yes. So it's not more than one. I feel like it's, you're not sure if you can find balance between like work and love. Five, five, six of pentacles. Yeah, you're all up in your head. This is a prison of your own making, Taurus. Okay, you can release yourself from this. You're going over and over in your head about a story you've concocted that just is not true. You need to look at things, look at this situation in particular from a different perspective because it's making you anxious. It's making you fearful. It's bringing up fears. And I feel like they're old fears. They're fears that need to be washed away. Okay, what's on your mind is the two of swords. So you, you're feeling stuck. Let's see why, why are you stuck? Ten of wands, work. A lot of you could be working a lot. Why do you feel stuck? Five of wands. There could be some drama around you, possibly. Wow, ten of swords. Ooh, some sort of betrayal, okay? Being stabbed in the back. This is what's on your mind. What happened with this Ten of Swords? The Hermits. This caused you to retreat back into yourself here. What did they do? Two of Wands chose something different, possibly. I feel like this person who betrayed you chose a different path, okay? And I feel like you're trying to start a new cycle from this situation. You've been going within. I feel like you've been working hard, but there's still that conflict. So it's some sort of story because I feel like new love is coming in, but there's some sort of story that's going over and over and over in your head. So what's coming towards you? Taurus is the king of pentacles. This is Taurus energy. So this could be somebody that's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, or they have that in their chart, or this could be some, this could be you really getting grounded and creating. Yeah, you're taking control here. The Emperor. Is this Taurus? Okay. Princess of Swords, you're going to utilize your intuition here. You're going to take control of whatever situation is. You're going to get out of this self-imposed prison here. Now, is this somebody coming towards them too? Okay. Which one? King of Pentacles. Okay. So you're the emperor here taking control of your life, right? In the trajectory you're wanting to go on and listening to your intuition. So I like that because you're bringing that feminine aspect in, which is the empress essentially, but you're very determined, which is why it came out as the emperor. You're very action oriented. Who's coming towards you is somebody who's very grounded. Somebody who's very established. Somebody, um, yeah, who's very confident as well. Tell me about this person. Let's see about this person, Taurus. Ace of Pentacles. It is an opportunity. <clears throat> opportunity for what? Love, Knight of Cups. So there's a love offer coming to you. Queen of Cups. Wow. They're going to express a lot to you, Taurus. This could, this is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person is an emperor or an empress, one of them. What's their intention with Taurus? Ooh, the devil. Capricorn energy. They may be highly attracted to you. What is their intention? Justice, Libra energy, also twin flame energy. What's their intention? Four of Swords. That's healing. Ace of Cups. You love the Moon card. Hmm. I don't think they're revealing everything here. I think they're being, being very elusive, whoever this is, Taurus. So use your intuition as far as this person is concerned. 
I'm not getting a horrible feeling, but there's just something that's missing, I'm feeling. Okay, so their intention is to heal, okay? They may want to heal you in some way, unless this is somebody that Mercury is retrograde. So if this is somebody from the past, that makes sense. But the moon card's here, and this is all about something that's hidden. And the justice card. They're wanting to balance things out. Why is the devil here? A chariot. Okay. All right. Spirit's saying that the devil card is here because of that strong sexual attraction, that strong tie that this person feels to you. All right. With the chariot, this has distance all over it again. It may be the same individual in the beginning. Cancer energy. This is somebody who is at a distance, but this could also be saying you're moving for some of you. Why is a chariot here? Knight of Swords. Some of you may be moving, and I feel like it's your intuition telling you to move somewhere. Huh. Your response to this is the Four of Cups. So this is why Spirit's wanting you to look at things from a different perspective. It may not be showing up. Look at that. The Empress. See, you. this is you. The Three of Cups. This could be a reunion for some of you. That's an option. But this also could just be dating. Nine of Cups. This is a wish fulfillment. So if you've wished for not necessarily somebody in particular, although it could be an idea of somebody, those qualities, this is what's coming towards you. For some reason, you're missing something though. And that's why I'm feeling something is missing. Maybe that's why. Maybe this is what you're feeling. Tell me what's missing. Can you tell me? Sometimes they won't tell me. Tell me what's missing. Oh my God. You're going to have to wait. Oh, it could be waiting. That's okay. There's something that you need to wait for. There's waiting involved, but this also talks about perspective. And they're saying, look at this from a different perspective, please. And, you know, it's funny because with spirit, if you make things complicated, <laughs> you're not going to figure it out. When you finally figure it out, it's freaking, it's the most simplest thing and, and you're like, duh, like, why didn't I see that? It's really amazing. It's frustrating, <laughs> but the experience is nice. So your advice is to take that leap of faith. So whoever this is, Spirit's trusting them enough to say, take that leap of faith. Let's clarify the fool. Wow. The tower. This is going to rock your world, Taurus. This is going to shake up your world. It is about to change. Whoops. Temperance, Sagittarius, energy. That's creating something from the healing process. Princess of Wands. Ace of Swords. You're finally going to know. Wow. Wow. Taurus, you know what I'm getting. You're finally going to realize why everything has happened that was behind you from your past. And this could be years upon years. Everything is going to make sense. Yep, you're going to have clarity. Truly. Wow. Let's get you an animal totem here. See which animal you can call upon regards to this situation the peacock you strut your stuff taurus the peacock let yourself stand out and be noticed stand out ta-da stand out taurus okay and look at this from a different perspective 
All right, Taurus, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fantastic day, Taurus, and I will catch you on the flip side tomorrow on the dailies. Namaste.